The Huawei Mate 80 series is shaping up to be one of the most innovative smartphone launches of the year, and the latest leaks are focusing on something most people don't immediately think about when they hear about new phones cooling technology. But make no mistake, this isn't just about keeping the phone from overheating. Huawei is reportedly using cooling upgrades in the Mate 80 lineup to improve something that really matters to users' videography. According to a well-known Weibo leaker, the Mate 80 will introduce a brand new cooling system that goes far beyond the standard heat pipes and vapor chambers we see in most modern smartphones. The system is said to feature a small built-in cooling, fan, a micro-pump driver chip, and a combination of graphene and copper heat dissipation materials. Together, these components are expected to keep the phone cooler during heavy use, especially while recording videos. Now, here's why this matters. Anyone who has recorded videos on a smartphone for long stretches knows that overheating can be a serious problem. It doesn't just make the phone hot in your hands. It also affects the actual recording process. When the phone's chip and camera sensors get to warm, they throttle their performance to prevent damage. That's when issues like frame drops, stuttering, lag, and even forced shutdowns happen. The Mate 80's new cooling approach is designed to tackle this head-on. By keeping the chip and camera parts cooler for longer, Huawei aims to deliver smooth, stable video recording without interruptions. That means fewer dropped frames, no sudden blackouts mid-shoot, and a more consistent experience even during longer recording sessions. It's not just about avoiding problems, it's also about enabling better results. Cooler components can operate at their maximum potential for longer, which translates to sharper video quality and more stable frame rates. In other words, this cooling tech isn't just solving an issue, it's actually enhancing the videography experience in a way that could set the Mate 80 apart from its competitors. And here's where things get even more interesting. A patent that surfaced last month suggested Huawei may actually place part of this cooling system, including the fan, in the camera module area itself. While the leak didn't provide all the details, the idea makes a lot of sense. If the hottest parts of the phone during video recording are the processor and the camera, then targeting cooling right at those areas could be a game changer. Imagine recording 4K or even 8K video for extended periods without worrying about overheating warnings or performance drops. That's what Huawei seems to be aiming for. The concept of using a fan in a smartphone isn't entirely new. Gaming phones from brands like Asus and Nubia have experimented with active cooling before. However, Huawei's approach sounds like it's being tailored specifically for videography. Rather than just gaming, that's a smart move, because while hardcore gaming is still a niche use case, almost everyone who buys a flagship phone uses it for taking photos and videos. By focusing on this area, Huawei could capture the attention of a much wider audience. Another point worth noting is that the new cooling tech might benefit more than just the camera. Keeping the overall device cooler could also improve battery efficiency, reduce wear on internal components, and allow the phone to sustain peak performance in other demanding tasks like gaming, multitasking, or extended video calls, of course. These are leaks and early details, so the full picture isn't clear yet. The tipster didn't specify all the technical aspects, and Huawei itself hasn't officially confirmed how this cooling system will work. But based on what we know, it's safe to say the Mate 80 is being built with a strong focus on solving heat-related issues that plague high-performance smartphones. The question now is how well this technology will work in real-world use. Will the fan make noise? Will it add bulk to the design? How will it impact battery life? These are things we'll only know once the phone is officially revealed and tested. But if Huawei pulls this off correctly, it could set a new standard for how smartphones handle heavy video recording tasks. For content creators, vloggers, or even casual users who love recording family events, vacations, or just everyday life, a phone that can shoot smooth, stable videos for longer without hiccups would be a huge advantage. It takes away the frustration of overheating pop-ups and lets people focus on capturing the moment. In the end, Huawei's upcoming Mate 80 series looks like it's not only about camera sensors, megapixels, or AI processing, it's about ensuring those features can actually be used to their full potential without being limited by heat. If this active cooling technology really delivers, it could be one of the most underrated but impactful upgrades in a smartphone this year. With the leak suggesting Huawei is testing multiple cooling components together like the fan, the graphene, and copper sheets, and the micro-pump driver chip, it seems the company is serious about tackling the heat problem from all angles. Whether this tech becomes the new benchmark in smartphones remains to be seen, 
but it definitely gives the Mate 80 series an edge in the race for the best video recording phone of 2025.